DJ Candy, that is so good. You are our candy girl with that perfect song to talk about this right here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about a beekeeping workshop, but there's always something exciting happening at Wild Willow Farm. Have you heard the buzz about the weekend's workshop? Yeah, Ann and Paul are joining us this morning from the farm. Let's start with Ann. Good morning to you, Ann. Good morning. So what do you have going on in front of you there? All of that looks so bright and colorful. Tell us all about your farm and what you're growing right now. Okay, well, Wild Willow Farm is down here in the Tijuana River Valley in the southwest part of San Diego. We're from the Resource Conservation District. We manage the farm. And one of the things that we do here, and we're an education farm, and we also produce fruits and vegetables for the local community. This is the produce that you would get in our community supported agriculture program. We um, sell a bag of produce every week or every other week to local residents. And this is just the selection here of our seasonal produce. So this was this week's bag. You know, got tomatoes and grapes, cilantro and basil, mm. beets and radishes and carrots, plums and these beautiful lemon cucumbers. Oh, all grown here on the farm. Wait, lemon cucumbers? Can you pick one of those yeah. up? What, you, what is yeah. that? <laughs> so it is just a really gorgeous cucumber. It tastes just like a regular cucumber. What? Um, but shaped like a lemon. <laughs> no way. That yeah. is amazing. Delicious. Is it a, somehow a cross between a lemon and a cucumber? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Like you can't blend those together. But that <laughs> does look like a lemon, it, but it's not sour. That's so cool, Anne. Uh, and so yes. you have the farm stand. And then, so tell us where that is, how people can get some of that good looking produce. So, the, so um, if you're not a CSA member, you can come down to the farm every Saturday. We have a farm stand here from 12 to 2. The, in, the driving directions are on our website. Um, you can just show up. We also do you pick strawberries. While strawberries are still in season, um, we you can come into our fields and pick strawberries between 12 and 3 on Saturdays as well. Oh, nice. They're so they can get strawberries too, delicious strawberries. My daughter is obsessed with them. Uh, we want to talk about the beekeeping workshop, but real quick, and while we're on you with the camera, uh, volunteers, do you need people to go out there and do some of that labor? <laughs> Absolutely. We welcome volunteers. We love working with volunteers. We host volunteering days every Monday and every Saturday from 930 to 1230, and you can sign up for that on our website as well. You can also learn about all the other classes that we do in addition to our beekeeping class. Oh, and I love that you're located right by the Tijuana River area. I mean, that's such a beautiful spot there uh, in our South Ca County. So it's just, you know, nice to go and support and volunteer. And look at these kids getting a chance to learn all about your farm, too. And we want to learn. We're always curious here at News 8. So let's talk to Paul now, uh, your <laughs> resident beekeeper. Is that right? <laughs> hey, hi there. I'm Paul. Hi. What's up, Paul? <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> Good. I wish I could see your face a little clearer, but I guess you have uh, to wear that, huh? <laughs> in there. Cool. All right, we're gonna take a quick look into a hive here, just to give it kind of a oh. quick little 101 of beekeeping. Okay. So you want to check it out? Yes. Let's show us the. You're gonna do what with the hive? Please go for it. We're gonna look inside the hive. I'll pull out some of the frames so you can get a close Ooh. close up view of of the bees and the activity in the hive. Okay, that sounds amazing. Bye. Yeah, Let's bees do are it. so awesome. So yes, please do um, okay. describe it as you go if you could. I will. I'm gonna smoke my camera person first with the smoker. So, okay. so the bees kind of are repelled. So hold your breath. All right, make sure we don't get any bee activity. All right, come on this way. Oh, I see. So Paul is now walking to the hive. I did not realize what the smoke does. It keeps them away so you don't get stung. I've already prepped them. So these bees have been smoked just a little bit. It distracts them. They, okay. It doesn't calm them down. It actually kind of distracts them. So they're, they don't pay attention to us. So I'm going to put a little smoke in this hive. Oh, whoa. And you see the bees buzzing around the hive right now. Your camera person doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, good. So hop off, take a look inside. So this is a new that? hive. We just expanded it. They're doing really well. The hive, the bees down here have lots of forage, and we've got happy bees. So you can look real snug in here. You just want to wow. move kind of slow around a hive. And you're barehanded, like Paul. You're not wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta know what you're doing. Okay. Be careful. The bees but, are not are not interested in you, right? Well, that's the that's the key with the smoke. You mm. always want to be around a high protective gear. And this is uh, one of the 
one of the frames that have a lots of babies in it. So these these dark cells, look at that. Uh, yeah. They're not a group. Whoa. And these dark cells here are where all the babies are, right there. No way. So, so these these open ones they hatched out already, but there's lots of different larvae in here that the queen laid. So there's honey in this one. This is just for babies. Whoa. So it's called brood. Okay, yeah. that's so amazing. So did the bees bring the pollen into that? Just to kind of explain how the bees yeah. got the honey there. Open cells here are the ones where the larvae are at. So they, they actually, the, the worker bees, the nurse bees, they bring in the pollen and, and nectar and they feed them honey. So they're, they're rearing them while they're growing in a larval stage. And then eventually they fill up the cell and then they cap it over. And that's kind of like a cocoon, like a butterfly's okay. cocoon. And later, about two days later, they hatch out as a, as a young bee. And some of them you can see, the young ones are kind of light colored and gray fuzzy. And um, they're, uh, they're really mellow. Yeah. <laughs> and Paul, you are so mellow holding that big frame of a bunch of bees. I mean, how many are in that hive? There's probably 40, 50,000 bees in here. No and these are all European honeybees. And we really pay attention to making sure our, our bees are mellow. Sometimes they can get hybridized with Africanized bees. Mm -hmm. And you want to pay attention to, to that, that issue. Right. Here's a, brand, here's a brand new comb that they just built. See how light. Wow. They're, they're in the process of doing this. And it's all bees wax that, that comes from their body. Okay. They, they oh. wax and. This is so fascinating, Paul. I, you know, you hear about Paul's, you know, bees are getting pollen from flowers and they make honey, but like to see this in action live on TV, this is so cool. Hang the big kind of a blob that's called yeah. festooning when they just kind of all hug together and hang in a blob. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. They are hard workers. That's for sure. Here, this is a drone. The drones are the, and the drones don't have a stinger. Wow, how so, do you, okay, so that's how you can tell. It doesn't have a stinger. Oh, it just flies big, off, buzzes off. Yeah. This so is the queen. Is <laughs> Paul, I apologize, because we only have 30 seconds left in this segment. I've been like mesmerized by everything you're doing. Please tell us when you offer these classes, how people can sign up. We have a series of classes that's coming up in the next three weeks. A couple of them are already full, which is great, but we teach a whole bunch of different courses here a lot of adult classes on farming and food and food preservation so definitely check out our all the courses we have lots and lots of really fun stuff huh. and we really love you reeled me in with that amazing display thank you very much paul and ann and your camera person back there great job wildwillowfarm.org we'll be right back